USMNT vs Mexico, starting 11, and lineup notes. Lineup notes. USMNT vs Mexico. 2023-24 CONCACAF Nations League Final. March 24, 2024. AT&T Stadium, Arlington, Texas. Pre-game coverage, 8 p.m. Eastern Time on Univision, Paramount Plus, CBS Sports Galazzo. Kickoff, 9.15 p.m. Eastern Time on Univision, Paramount Plus. Social media at USMNT on X and Instagram, US Soccer on Facebook, the US Soccer app, tonight's USMNT starting 11 vs Mexico, 1 Matt Turner, 2 Sergino Dest, 3 Chris Richards, 4 Tyler Adams, 5 Anthony Robinson, 7 Gio Reyna, 8 Weston McKenney, 10 Christian Pulisic, Captain, 13 Tim Ream, 14 Hadji Wright, 21 Tim Wea. Substitutes, 18 Ethan Horvath, 22 Drake Callender, 6 Eunice Musa, 9 Ricardo Pepe, 11 Brendan Aronson, 12 Miles Robinson, 15 Johnny Cardoso, 16 Mark McKenzie, 17 Malik Tillman, 19 Joe Scally, 20 Fuller and Balligan, 23 Christopher Lund. Game Notes, 5 Things to Know About Mexico. USMNT starting 11 cap numbers, including this match, Christian Pulisic, 66, Tim Ream, 56, Weston McKenney, 51, Anthony Robinson, 41, Matt Turner, 39, Tyler Adams, 38, Tim Weah, 37, Sergino Dest, 33, Gio Reyna, 26, Chris Richards, 16, Hadji Wright, 9. USMNT starting 11 cap numbers in official competition, including this match, Christian Pulisic, 47, Matt Turner, 31, Weston McKenney, 30, Tim Ream, 29, Anthony Robinson, 27, Tyler Adams, 21, Tim Wea, 19, Sergino Dest, 18, Gio Reyna, 16, Chris Richards, 9, Hadji Wright, 7. Greg Berhalter makes five changes from the lineup that started Thursday's semi-final against Jamaica, inserting defenders Sergino Dest and Tim Ream, midfielders Tyler Adams and Gio Reyna, and forward Hadji Wright. Tonight's starting 11 has an average age at 26 years, 63 days, making it the second oldest USMNT lineup fielded under Greg Berhalter ahead of only the starting 11 that began the 4-1 win against Canada in the CNL group stage on November 15, 2019 in Orlando, 26, years, 159 days. The lineup averages 37 caps, marking the third most experienced lineup deployed under Berhalter. It comes in behind only the 2019 CONCACAF Gold Cup semi-final versus Jamaica, 39 caps, and final versus Mexico, 40 caps. 10 of 11 starters have appeared in one of the two previous CNL finals, with Christian Pulisic, Gio Reyna and Tim Wea having played in both the 2021 and 2023 championship matches. Christian Pulisic captains the team for the 21st time tonight, and the third time in a final, tying him with Carlos Bocanegra for most U.S. captaincies in a championship match. The USA is 15-2-3 when Pulisic wears the armband. Pulisic is the only player that will have started all three CNL championship matches and all six games at the CNL Finals Tournament since 2021. The 25-year-old also earns his fourth overall cap in a final tonight, tying him for second most championship appearances among USMNT players with Josie Altador, Damarcus Beasley, Carlos Bocanegra, Michael Bradley, Tim Howard, and Jaya Sizards. The group trails Clint Dempsey and Landon Donovan, who each appeared in six finals during their international careers. Matt Turner will make his third appearance in a final, tying him with Casey Keller for second most among USMNT goalkeepers and placing him behind only Tim Howard, 4. With the win on Thursday, Turner is now 19-4-7 overall in competitive matches, tying him with Brad Guzan, 19-8-7, for third most wins among USMNT goalkeepers. They sit behind Tim Howard, 39-20-8, and Casey Keller, 38-16-13. All five of Gio Reyna's USMNT assists have come during the CNL Final Four, from 2021 to 2024. Reyna's five assists in knockout round matches also tie him with Michael Bradley and Eddie Lewis for third most all-time, and place him behind only Landon Donovan, 11, and Clint Dempsey, 6. 
After his game-winning brace in extra time on Thursday, forward Hadji Wright makes his third career start and first since the 0-0 draw with England at the 2022 FIFA World Cup on November 26, 2022. Midfielder Tyler Adams starts his first match since the defeat to Netherlands in the round of 16 on December 3, 2022. Wright is the only starter to have never appeared against Mexico before. Pulisic leads the lineup with eight previous matches against El Tri, followed by Weston McKenney, 6, Tim Wea, 5, Tyler Adams, Sergino Dest, Anthony Robinson, for each, Tim Ream, Gio Reyna, 3 each, Chris Richards, and Matt Turner, 2 each. The back four of Sergino Dest, Chris Richards, Tim Ream, and Anthony Robinson worked together for the second time tonight, having previously started the 3-0 win against Uzbekistan on September 9, 2023, in St. Louis. Richards and Ream pair in central defense for the third time, having also worked the match against Germany on October 14, 2023 in East Hartford, Connecticut. Greg Berhalter is 42-14-12 in 68 matches as USMNT head coach. The USA is 27-7-7 in competitive matches under Berhalter, with his .744 winning percentage the highest among USMNT head coaches with a minimum of eight matches in official competition. The USA is 9-3-0 in knockout round matches under Berhalter, placing him just one win behind Bob Bradley, 10-4-0, for second most wins in knockout matches among USMNT head coaches. This is also Berhalter's fourth final as USMNT head coach, 2-1-0, 2021 Nations League, 2019 and 2021 Gold Cup, tying him with Bob Bradley for most all-time. Should the USA win tonight, he would tie Bruce Arena, 2002, 2005, 2017 Gold Cup, for most final victories among USMNT head coaches. The USMNT is 23-36-17 all-time against Mexico. The team is currently in the midst of a six-match unbeaten streak, 4-0-2, against El Tri, which is tied for the longest unbeaten run against Mexico alongside the 3-0-3 run that occurred from 2011 to 2015. Five substitutions are allowed in three different moments. Halftime does not count as a substitution moment. Teams will be allowed an additional substitute if the match goes to extra time. Tonight's match will be officiated by Drew Fisher of Canada. The USMNT won 1-0 in two matches refereed by Fisher, defeating El Salvador 2-0 in the Gold Cup quarterfinals on July 19, 2017 in Philadelphia, and losing 2-0 at Costa Rica in the 2022 FIFA World Cup qualifying finale on March 30. 2022 in San Jose. Tony. GHT's full referee crew.